Hola, mommies and poppies. I'm back. And I'm going to start by prepping my face with some MAC Fix Plus. So I'll just do a little shake, shake. And I'm going to spritz it all over this mug. And I'm going to grab my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I'm going to go right in with it with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So I'm not going to do the dots all over my face. I'm just going to go right in with the foundation. So as I'm buffing and blending this foundation into my face, I'll tell you a little bit about my sponge. It is a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I absolutely adore this sponge because even though they soak up a lot of product, this one's really great because it's flat on one side to help really press the foundation in, but it still has the pointed side so you can get in near the corners of your eyes and around your eyebrows and in the crevices and cracks of your nose. So like with all my foundations, I am going to go off camera and let this sit for about five minutes to really let the foundation, of course, set in to my face, gives it a longer lasting look, and I also don't have to use as much powder, so I'll be right back. All right, it's return of the Marge. Hey, hey, we got the MAC full coverage coming at you. I'm an NW40. And I'm just, again, going to go in um, lightly over the natural contours of my face because this, um, this foundation is slightly darker. And I'm going to go over a couple places that need a little bit of extra help as usual. I'm just dabbing over those ugly ass moles, you know, trying to pretend like they ain't there. All right, grabbing my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder, and I'm taking it on my fluffy It Cosmetics brush, number 126, and just going over my T-zone. I always do this a little on the chin, a little on the nose, a little on the sides of the cheeks, and the forehead. All right, now that my... <laughs> bronzer almost had a near-death experience but my sweet skills caught it I'm going to take my favorite Y3 bronzer brush and again just going in the natural contours of my face so we ain't trying I'm not trying to look like Kim Kardashian here with a sculpted face just giving a little bit of warmth and a little light shading and contour Okay, here I'm going in again on the perimeter of my face. I'm just using the very top of this pointed brush to get just the perimeter of my face. Really making me look like the bronze goddess I am, people. All right, all right, step right up. You know what time it is, folks. It's time to snatch that nose. Again, we ain't we ain't trying to hide nothing, honey. It's all is the nose is there, but I'm just trying to bring a little more warmth and color to the face. I swear, if I had a dollar for every time I said adding a little warmth and color to the face by now, it'd be like set for life. Ooh, children, you know what time it is. It is time to do that blush. I am using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Parte. And yes, that really is the name. And I'm using my Real Techniques Blush Brush. I'm just lightly going in. I, I really, really like this blush. It's so pretty. It is not shimmery, but it does give you a really nice wet sheen. And it's not too pigmented, but just pigmented enough. Really nice. Next, I'm taking this NARS Eye Primer. I'm just gonna dabby a little in the center of my eyes, and then I'm gonna go in with my finger and blend out the rest, blending all the way from the lash line all the way up to the top of your brow. All right, we're getting naked now. Mm -hmm. This is the Naked Smoky palette, 
and I'm going to take the brush that came with the palette, really nice brush actually, and I'm going to go in with the color Combust combined with a little bit of the color 13. So those two lighter colors at the end, I did go into both even though I only pointed at Combust. And I'm just putting this all over the lid to kind of um, set the lid and put down a nice transition shade so that any other colors that I put on top are just going to look super airbrushed and flawless. Right, moving right along, getting that Funfetti palette out. Now I'm going to be taking a little transition shade. I'm going to be taking the shade All Nighter. This actually looks black, but it is actually just an extremely dark green kind of shimmery color. And I'm just putting this on the very corners. I'm not dragging it all the way out, just barely doing the corner and just buffing out into the middle. So as you can see, keeping it on the edges as best I can. Now I'm looking at myself just to make sure that they're even, just because when you're working with just the outer corner, you have to make sure they're the right height, that they come in on the sides. So I'm really working at perfecting this. And because this is such a dark color, I'm really going in with the lightest hand I could ever possibly have, um, just because it is such a dark color, so you're taking a big risk. All right, now for that beautiful lid color, I'm gonna be using ColourPop's Partridge. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh yes, it's a beautiful kind of peacock green, uh, bluish brown color. Ooh, just look at that. I mean, come on. Come on, eyes. Oh yes, ColourPop, come through. And I'm just putting this on with my finger. These shadows can be a little temperamental, so I found the best way to put them on is just rubbing your finger in there and patting it on your eyes. Okay, going back to my Naked palette, and we are going to be grabbing the color High. It's this beautiful sparkly champagne color, and I'm putting that on the inner corners and right on the brow bone. When I do highlighting on the brow bone, I don't go through the whole brow. I do probably like the center of the brow to the end. And just dragging that along the bottom a little bit more. Now, back to Funfetti, and we are going back in again, just barely going in to All Nighter, and I'm just going on the lower lash line. Now, I have some wrinkles under here, so they tend to get makeup in them and look really ratchet, so I'm just literally doing the very edges just toward the middle of my lashes. I'm not going all the way down, just toward the end, just to bring the whole eye look together, and connect to the ends. Okay, it's my favorite part of the video. It's highlighting time. I am taking MAC strobe cream and I put it between my fingers and I am just pressing it onto my cheeks very lightly. As you can see, it's not super pigmented, just there. So I can put this powdery highlight on top. This is Sephora. This is in the color 02, it's called Light Beam. And I'm just putting this on, ugh, it looks so pretty. I'm sorry, but this camera just does not do it justice. It looks so much better in person. And I'm just pulling this up, pulling it up into the temple. And I'm gonna do a little bit on the tops of my eyebrows. I didn't put any um, strobe cream down. I'm literally just going in on top. I'm gonna take a little more strobe cream, dab it on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow so I can go back in with the Sephora one and highlight that bitch up. All right, now we're just going in with some old-fashioned, good old OG Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I'm in the blackest black, and this is like the big brush. And I love this mascara. I mean, I go back to this time after time after time. I can use so many other mascaras, and at the end of the day, this is just my love, my love of my life. 
Now I'm going to be taking a ColourPop Libby stick in the color Lumiere. I thought because I was doing a really pretty green eye, I would do a really beautiful mauve pink lip. And I'm going in with my G15 brush it's from the Gunmetal Collection of Morphe. And I'm putting this on. All right, I'm finishing with some MAC Fix Plus. You know how we do. And I am done. This is the finished look using ColourPop products. I hope you all loved it. I love you, and thank you for watching, my angels. Goodbye.